I just learned that Salman Rushdie was attacked in New York. I am really shocked. I never thought it would happen. He has been living in the West and he has been protected since 1989. If he is attacked, anyone who is critical of Islam can be attacked. I am worried. This was tweeted by another controversial writer Taslima Nasreen soon after the heinous attack on Rushdi. Salman Rushdi was attacked in New York state by a lone assassin at an event on writers in exile where he was the main speaker. He was immediately airlifted to the hospital where report says he sustained life changing injuries. Rushdi was born in Mumbai only weeks before India gained independence. influenced a whole generation of indians and gave a fresh perception of india to the literary world when the nation made poverty pestilence and gandhi though rushdi left india to live in england he kept his home country close to his heart i was shocked when my country became the first to ban the satanic verses even before it had arrived here rushdi said When he landed in India in April 2000 to end a decade long self exile after the ban the ban was a, a was a surprise partly because it was done without the normal due process if you know the book had not entered the country it had not been considered by any panel which sits to decide whether books should be permitted or not it was just banned as a kind of fiat you know and i thought that was an undemocratic when his novel the ground beneath her feet lost the commonwealth writers prize to South African J M Coates disgrace Rushdie present at the Oberoi Hotel in Delhi the venue of the literary award ceremony in April 2000 had this to say my real prize is India Rushdie's return was marked by celebrations by his fans who drowned out the straggling protesters holding placards saying Salman Rushdie go back I am here to renew a broken friendship Rushdie responded after the then Bajpayee government gave him a 5 year visa braving protests from Islamic hardliners. He took his son to their ancestral home in Solan, Himachal Pradesh, gifted to Rushdie by his father on his 21st birthday. Rushdie came to JLF in 2007, but sadly he had to withdraw from the 2012 edition because of protests, says Sanjay Roy. producer of JLF he is one of the most seminal writers of indian origin in many ways midnight children sums up the trials and tribulations traumas and achievements of india he set the stage for every other indian writer who followed him on international stage that is what one needs to celebrate at this point of time even as he is struggling to survive adds roy Rushdie hasn't returned to India since his JLF appearance in 2007 but he has since spoken widely about his affection for his native country in essays and speeches at college convocations abroad he continued his gaze on India at all times especially during elections if freedom of expression is under attack if religious freedom is threatened and people had to live with physical fear for their safety then such a society cannot be said to be a true democracy he said during the emergency 1975 to 77 rushdie's midnight children became an instant literary success in india provided the much needed emotional and intellectual succor to a wounded nation rushdie has a huge fan following in india he has many friends in his home country said poet k sachidanandan a former secretary of the kendriya sahitya academy after this attack he tweeted anyone has the right to criticize a writer's work as strongly and as long they want but in a democratic way the attack on rushdi saddens writers and his fans like me he is a man who has fought all his life in defense of freedom and democracy was attacked on friday in new york state we all are waiting for your speedy recovery sir do you think india should stand with rushdi or keep 
its neutral standpoint. Please comment your opinion below and mention your favorite work of Rushdie.